How often have you been making a piece of music and you're not sure what to do to improve it? Maybe you try a few things, maybe you try a million things and you're not sure which is best. You're kind of waiting for some kind of outside force, maybe like Ma! angels to uh, sing and go, this, this is the right decision for you to make right now. It will turn this piece of music into a, a wonderful work of genius that your friends will go, oh, that's amazing. Well, if you're anything like me, that rarely uh, happens. But there is a way to make just one decision earlier on in the process that makes all of these other decisions much easier to make, much simpler, much quicker. And it makes the music making much more fun as well. You see, there are occasions when you, you know, the light shines upon you and you go, yep, that's it. I know what to do. But let's face it, that doesn't usually happen. If it does, great. Well done. How'd you do that? <laughs> but you, because usually you don't. Yeah? And often when you think you know that this is the right decision or this is this is the right baseline or this is the, the right uh, sound, often you find later on that you're wrong about that. It wasn't as good as you thought it was. OK, so in that situation, in that in that uncertainty, where do you go? What do you do? Well, I think a lot of people, what they do is they get inspiration from elsewhere. In other words, they do some version of using reference tracks. Now, this can be very dangerous. For one thing, what can often happen if you start listening to uh, other music that's already been finished, that's gone through the creative process, is you start making unhelpful comparisons, which can really demotivate you. Uh, it can get very confusing uh, and you just end up going around in circles. Oh, my, my music doesn't sound as good. Of course it doesn't sound as good. You haven't finished it yet. <laughs> The other problem is that it can be very hard not to copy, not to imitate. It's happened to me a lot when I've listened to other music. I get all obsessed by, oh, my, I really want it to sound like that. And you end up making a slightly, or in my case, much worse version of that thing that already exists. That isn't what we want to be doing. Okay. The other thing that a lot of people do, although I've never really had this uh, problem, showing my age now, but anyway, a lot uh, that a lot of people do is that they go to tutorials yeah in order to get that okay i know this is the right thing to do is they try and find a piece of information out there that will kind of tell them right i know i'm doing the right thing this is what is the right decision to make this is the right way of uh, doing this now the problem is with tutorials as i'm sure you've found and you may well have found your way here as a result of what i'm talking about is that you are learning about you are not actually learning. Learning about some something isn't learning it. Learning it is doing it. That is how you actually learn to do something. Learning about it is optional. Okay, I'm not saying don't do it, don't ever do it, but it is optional because really how you learn to do something is by practicing that thing. Plus, as I'm sure you're aware, the uh, tutorial trap is an endless rabbit hole of more and more things that you don't know. So what do you do in this situation? Well, one thing you could do and something that has helped me make a lot more music and a lot of people who I help make a lot more uh, music is to decide on what the piece of music you're working on is about. What is its purpose. Now, if in answer to that question, so say you're working on a piece of music right now, or maybe you're meant to be working a bit on a piece of music right now and you're not, okay? But that piece of music, what is its purpose? When I ask people this question, when I'm coaching them, they'll often say, well, it's to make people dance or it's to I don't, uh, get people listening to it on Spotify. That's not what I mean by a purpose. What I would call that is a function. What I'm looking for, or what you're looking for when you're asking yourself this question, is what is this specific piece of music specifically about? As a result of that question, of the people that I'm coaching will say something like, uh, this piece of music is to get people into a, a you know, trance-like state on the dance floor. 
that's closer that's getting closer to it but it's still quite functional and also if this can be said of all of your music or maybe all of the genres music that you're working in then it's not quite cutting it now because it's not a useful you're not getting enough useful information out of it instead what you want to be deciding and you don't have to know that you don't have to go into a piece of music having decided this you can actually decide at any point in the process it's more useful at the start because then you've got something to work towards but the kind of purpose i'm looking for is this music is expressing this emotion or this change of emotion even better or this story or it, you know it's telling a particular kind of story of my life or a particular period of my life this specific music is specifically telling this story expressing this emotion uh this uh, uh giving people the feeling of this specific thing and it's different to this track that i made and that track that i made because what that does is it actually gives you a way of saying no this is better than that which doesn't change it's external to your thoughts and feelings about the music which are always changing oh it's brilliant or oh, it's terrible oh it's brilliant or oh, it's terrible right if you say okay i in this piece of music i'm going to express the time i lost you know i uh, my girlfriend uh, uh, chuck me yeah or the time i split up with this person or that person if you can say say that then there are going to be certain things that you do and certain things that you don't do there are going to be certain choices that you can make which are closer to that objective thing that you have decided so with that piece of music that you're struggling with right now think what could the purpose be not to make people dance that's a function not to, to do something that all of your music does to yeah but something that that this specific music could be about again this isn't something that already exists this is a decision you are making which will help you make all of the other decisions now it's also important to uh, do this I mean, it's helpful to do this in every stage of the creative process. So over the uh, coming videos, I'm going to share a similar question for the different stages of the creative process, which will help you move through the creative process uh, much more quickly, much more effectively, and have much more fun doing it. So to get the next videos in this series, click like and subscribe and remind. And I'll see you again soon.